Hey guys, Jordan here, and in this video today, we're gonna to be going through how to set up monthly reoccurring payments for your social media marketing clients. We're gonna jump into the Mac for this one, but first things first, before we do, like, comment, subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and let's get started with this video. Okay, let's jump straight into the video. So taking payments for your clients is something that causes a lot of debate within the social media marketing space, whether you should send invoices every month and they transfer into your business account or whether you should set them up and the payments be automatic coming out of their bank account every single month. Now there, there are pros and cons to both. Um, now first of all, with all of my clients for a very long time, I've been sending out invoices to all of them and they have been sending me or just sending me the money into my business account manually every single month. Now I've changed this very recently to automatic payments and I do that for one reason. When you send an invoice to clients and they pay you manually, they question your service every single time that they receive an invoice through the post or, inv or invoice through their email. So they're looking at it thinking, oh, a thousand pounds, that's a lot of money, better transfer, better transfer Jordan, I need to pay him this month. Whereas if it is automated, they're less likely to be processing it, less likely to be thinking about it every single month. Although, of course, I'm giving all of my clients a good service every month, they're questioning themselves. They're, question they're having to reconfirm that in their head every single time they get an invoice from me. Now, the only way I can explain that, if you guys have got a Netflix um, you, you, you're subscribed to Netflix, for instance, or, or, or YouTube Premium or Apple Music. You don't worry about that monthly payment coming out every month. In fact, you can probably go six months by and maybe you haven't even used Netflix, but you're not questioning whether you need the service or not because the money's just coming out of your bank account automatically, just like your gym membership that you haven't been using for the last year. Whereas if your gym sent you an invoice every single month, you'd be questioning whether you need that service or not. Okay, so that's why it's good to set up automated payments. And there are two ways that you can set them up very, very easily. One is PayPal and one is Stripe. Okay, both are payment processing platforms. PayPal, pretty much everyone's familiar with and Stripe is another online um, payment processor. So you can make an account on either of those. It's completely free to do so. But what you'll want is a PayPal business account, which is pretty easy to set up and I've logged in on, on one of mine here today. So what you want to do is when you go over to PayPal, let's jump straight into it and I'll just tell you how to do it, no fluff. You just want to know how to set up these payments. So that, let's just jump into it. Um, so we want to go over to tools and onto all tools. And so this is from the PayPal da dashboard, you just logged in, tools, all tools is going to bring you to this page here. You're then going to click on PayPal button. So bear in mind, you've just signed up a client and you want to set them up. So you want to go on to PayPal buttons, open this, if it's working, are we loading? We are loading. Okay, and we want to create a button, this button here on the right hand side, create new button. My internet's been awfully slow today. Now, we want to go over to choose a button type, we want to go to subscriptions, I don't know if you guys can see this, if this is zoomed in enough, so I'll zoom in there for you. We want to go to choose a button type, subscriptions. Item name, um, let's do this, let's say it's a restaurant for instance and we want to do Steakhouse Limited Social Media Service. Let's just, just call that item that for, for whatever reason, this is what's going to appear on the invoice. And billing amount each cycle, let's say we've signed them up for £1,500 per month, billing cycle one month. Um, how many cycles should I to stop billing? Um, if you sign like a three month contract, you could set it to three months. I generally just have these as, as never. So it's just a monthly reoccurring subscription. Are you offering a free trial? So let's say you're offering a free trial for your client. You're doing a two week free trial, which you shouldn't be doing unless it's your first client, um, but you can put zero there. So zero free trial for, I don't know, two weeks. And um, there we go. So that would not charge them for the first two weeks and it would charge them 1,500 thereafter. Now all you want to do very simply is just click create button. It's going to generate here a link for us. So we want to go on email here and take this link. Now if we just paste this into our browser so we can see that, 
this is what it's going to bring us to. So Steakhouse Limited, so this is what it's going to take our client to when we send them this link. Steakhouse Limited social media service, £1,500 per month for each month. And they're going to either log in um, via PayPal or they're going to subscribe via their, pay, uh, their credit or debit card. And this is going to invoice them every single month. This is going to automatically take that payment from their account so we don't have to worry about it and we don't have to invoice them. So that's how you do this on PayPal. And if you want to access your um, monthly reoccurring payments. All you have to do is just go onto tools, all tools, not send money. We wanna go over to reoccurring payments and that'll have a list of all of your clients and your monthly payments. So let's close that and go over to Stripe. Okay, now I'm not gonna go on the dashboard because this is actually a, a live account of mine. Um, this is not my, my agency account, but it is uh, for my course sales. But what you want to do is you want to go over to Stripe. You want to make an account very, very simply. You just make, just put in your email address, make a password, and you're pretty much set up, answer some questions about your business, and then you're good to go. Now, when you have your Stripe account logged in, you want to go over to, so let's just say you want to set up a brand new uh, customer. You want to go over to customers on the left-hand side here, create your first customer, and let's just put my email address in there, and we're going to call this, I don't know, um, Steak House restaurant that's not a sales steakhouse okay create customer now with stripe you cannot send them a link so you have to be sitting with your client whilst you're doing this or at least you can set it up and then be sitting with your client on your kickoff meeting because you're going to need their card details you're going to need them to input the card details if they're comfortable sending you over their card number that's great, but if not, you want to be sitting with your client, with your laptop, and, and be able to go through this with them. So you want to put their card number in here, add their card to the account here, and you then have them set up as a customer on your Stripe. Excuse me. Now you, what you want to do is go over to billing and go over to products. Now I've just made, I've just made a product there, which is a test, but let's just make a new one. So we want to make a new product, and we want to call this, I don't know, social media marketing service. Okay, create this product. And da, 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 that's all good. Let's just, just add, okay, this is what we wanna do. So we wanna go over to, my mistake, so I confused myself. So once we have created this product, we want to create our, our first pricing plan for this product. So this is gonna be our first um, client. So we wanna do steak house restaurant. That's what we're gonna call it, our nickname. It's a monthly reoccurring quantity. Choose your, uh, your currency, and no, there's no multiple tiers and price, so what did we say, that was 1,500 per month. Billing interval, monthly, and there's no trial period, but you can do the same on here, and um, okay, billing, subscribe to one unit, will be billed for, at the start of the month, so add pricing plan. So now this service, our social media marketing service, has one pricing plan. Now if you want to add more pricing plans on here, so you're charging, of course, with social media marketing, we charge all of our clients different prices. So let's say we've got a new client um, who is the gym group, and we charge them 2000 a month. You can just add a new pricing plan, click add pricing plan, and so on and so forth. And you can just do that by adding a pricing plan. Now let's go back onto our products again. Ignore this one, I just made that earlier. Social media marketing service, and we then have all our clients here with their different pricing, pricing plans. So we wanna go over to customer. You wanna choose that customer, okay? This is our client's email address that we're putting in here. And we're gonna add a subscription. So this is gonna, how we're gonna add this monthly payment to their account. So we're gonna click add subscription, Add product, social media marketing service, and this is the steakhouse restaurant, so that's what we're gonna choose. And obviously, it's gonna we, we need their card details inputted here, so it's saying at the minute, we have to add a valid payment method, and then we're gonna hit start subscription. And that is all you need to do to um, to charge this client, okay? So it's, you're just gonna hit, sub, hit start subscription, and that subscription is gonna be on that customer's account now. So you're gonna have their card details on here, and that subscription is gonna be listed here, and they're gonna be charged every single month uh, for your service. Now you can do this on Stripe, you can do this on um, on PayPal, whatever pay payment platform you want to, it's completely your choice. Now the pros and cons of both, PayPal, you can just send them a link and it'll automatically, um, automatically set them up. 
Um, but Stripe, you have to be sitting in front of them and you have to, uh, yeah, you have to set up their card details. So that is, yeah, that's it, guys. That is how you set up monthly reoccurring payments for your clients without having to worry about invoicing them. It'll automatically invoice them every single month. It'll automatically take that payment from their credit or debit card and you don't have to worry about it. They won't be questioning your service every month. And uh, yeah, that's how you can get set up. If you have any questions, drop me a message on Instagram and uh, I'll be back again. I'll be doing a video tomorrow as well. So a bit of a bonus one for you today. If you like this video, please do share it with someone who will get value from it. And as usual, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, turn them notification bells on, and I'll be back again tomorrow. Cheers, guys.